Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alright, so today we continue chapter 3, Electromagnetism 3.2, the force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. So if you look at the title, there are three important points here. One is force, then current carrying conductor, then magnetic field. So, okay, from 3.1, Okay, when we have conductor that carry current, the surrounding of the conductor that carry current will have magnetic field. Okay, now, so this current carrying conductor is in a magnetic field. So, there is another magnetic field due to the magnetomagnet. Okay, so in between the two magnetomagnet, there will be magnetic field. Okay, so when we have two magnetic field like this, one is due to the current carrying conductor. The other one is due to the real magnet. We call it as magnetomagnet. Okay, so when these two magnetic fields acting at the same place at the same time, so the two magnetic fields will interact and it will produce resultant magnetic field. That resultant magnetic field will create force, force, and we call that force as catapult force. As the result, this conductor okay will move following the catapult force direction all right so these are learning outcomes for today's lesson so number one describe what happened to the current carrying conductor to draw pattern of the combined magnetic field due to current carrying conductor in the magnetic field three describe how current carrying conductor in a magnetic field experience force four Explain factors that affect the magnitude of the force on the current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. Next, describe how a current carrying conductor coil in the magnetic field experience turning force. Describe how direct current motor works. And then, state factors that affect the speed of the rotation of electric motor. To determine the direction of the force on the current carrying conductor, we'll be using Fleming's left hand rule. So we use three fingers. So the three fingers must be 90 degree to each other. So it means that the thumb, the pointer and the center finger should be perpendicular to each other. So the thumb will show you the direction of the force. The pointer will follow the direction of the magnetic field, which is always from north to south, means that always from north to south. Then the center finger will be showing the direction of the current. Okay, So when there are magnetic field due to the magnet and magnetic field due to the current carrying conductor, force will be produced. So remember FMC. Okay, easy to memorize will be father, mother, child, law. Okay, father, mother, and child, law. So father will be for the force, mother, magnetic field, child is the current. This simple apparatus setup enable us to see the effect of force acting on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. We'll be using DC power supply, okay, uh, two thick copper wire one short copper wire and then these copper wires are all uninsulated copper wire tidak bersalut penebat and then uh, the short copper wire is also known as bridge conductor okay what happen is the when the dc power supply is switched on current will flow from positive terminal through the thick copper wire through the bridge conductor and then go back to the negative terminal. So we're focusing on the current that flowing through the bridge conductor. And then this bridge conductor is placed in between two magnetos magnet that is uh, stick on a U-shaped steel yoke. So when current flowing, okay, so means that there are two magnetic fields one is formed by the conductor that carry current. Remember, we use our right hand grip rule in chapter 3.1 to determine the direction of the magnetic field through the straight wire. Then, there is another magnetic field which is 
from the real the magneto magnet which will be from north to south okay so the combination of the magnetic field due to the current in the conductor here and the external magnetic field okay due to the magneto magnet will produce resultant magnetic field so the resultant magnetic field will produce a catapult force which later act on the current carrying conductor. So it means that this current carrying conductor will be moved following the direction of the catapult force. Remember the keyword, the combination of magnetic field due to the current in the conductor and the external magnetic field due to the magneto magnet will create a resultant magnetic field that will create a catapult force that will push the current carrying conductor. Fleming left hand rule. So I label here FMC to help you to memorize. You can use father, mother, child rule. Don't forget mother love to go from north to south. Okay, so this is the force the catapult force this is the magnetic field direction will be from north to south and then this is the direction of the current okay so don't forget all the three fingers okay must be always 90 degree okay 90 degree to each other okay so we try to determine the direction of the force acting on this bridge conductor okay by using fleming left hands rule okay so in order to solve the problem first you need to label the direction of the current in this bridge conductor okay always look at the uh, source so this is long is positive terminal short is the negative terminal so current flow from the positive terminal here Okay, go like this and then this is the important part we'll focus on this letter and then it go back to the negative terminal all right so now the current is going in if current going in okay which symbol should, should we use x or dot okay so remember um, the arrow so you can see the back of the arrow is x shape so this means current going in okay if you see the tip of the arrow it is just like a dot nah? so that will be current going out okay so in this case if let's say we want to draw the 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 using this symbol so this means current going in okay into the paper lah. okay so means that x huh? all right so when we want, we want to use the fleming's left hand rule okay remember like that nah? Okay, so which one is current? Current is the center finger. And then the magnetic field will be the pointer. So here you see north, south. So means that pointing from north to south. So it means that your pointer always point to this direction. Okay, you can turn your hand. But make sure it always point to south. Now you see current is going in. If the position of our hand is like this, means that current going up. Okay, so current going in. So you need to rotate at the same time this uh, pointer must point to south. Alright, like that. So you can see that now current going in. Alright, so your uh, thumb pointing downward. So it means that the direction of the force acting on this conductor will be downward. Uh, this is the catapult force. So Why will the bridge conductor move downward? When we switch on the DC power supply, so the direction of the current in the bridge conductor will be inward like this. And there are two magnetomagnet in between. So there will be magnetic field, the uniform magnetic field of the magnetomagnet. We draw the pattern like this, okay? Always from north to south pole. And then on the conductor that carry current, since the current is flowing in, this will be the pattern of the magnetic field of the current carrying conductor. So we use our right hand grip rule, current going in. So our thumb okay, pointing inward and all the four fingers will follow the direction of the magnetic field. So in this case, the direction of the magnetic field is in clockwise direction. So you see we have two magnetic field at the same place at the same time. So I draw like this. <clears throat> now, do you realize that 
the direction of the magnetic field formed by the real magnet and the conductor that carry current at this part is in the same direction. Okay, same direction. Okay, and then at the lower part, can see? So the direction of the magnetic field of the conductor that carry current, blue, and the direction of the magnetic field of the magneto magnet are in opposite direction. So you see here, when the direction of the magnetic field are in the same direction, it will create stronger magnetic field, stronger mag uh, resultant magnetic field here. And below here, since the direction of the magnetic field of the two source are in opposite direction, so it will actually cancelling each, each other. Hence, it will create weaker resultant magnetic field. Okay, so above is stronger, down here is weaker, hence the conductor will be pushed downward. So, uh, when we want to draw the resultant magnetic field, or what we call a scattered field, so it become like this, where you see the upper part just now here will be stronger, so we draw more magnetic field lines, and then down here, okay, so weaker, so we just draw less magnetic field lines compared to the above. Alright, so it means that here we'll have stronger magnetic force, and then down here is low, smaller, so the resultant force, which is the catapult force, will be pushing downward. Now that you have know how to determine the direction of the force by using Fleming's left hand rule and to draw the pattern of the resultant magnetic field, so we try a few questions. Okay, question number one. So as usual, you need to draw the direction of current on the bridge conductor. So look at this, positive, negative, so current flow like this and then here will be uh, going out. Alright, then current going back. So we just focus on the bridge conductor. Alright, so now current going out, okay, so make sure that uh, your center finger going out and then you see now north-south. So remember, the magnetic field is always from north to south and make sure that the current, your center finger is out, okay, like that, okay, uh, north-south, like that, current going out, okay, north-south, pointing to south and then um, the thumb to the left. So it means that the direction of movement of this conductor will be going to the left. So this is the direction of the catapult force. So now, if you know that the direction of the force is going to the left, so it means that the magnetic flux, the resultant magnetic field on the left, on the right side is stronger. So an easier way to draw the magnetic uh, the catapult field will be, so I just draw back the magnet south here, and then down here is uh, north, north, and then you see current going up, current, current go, going out, we use symbol dot, like that. Uh, this represents current going out uh, in the conductor. Now you see the force is to the left, just label it, and then so if let's say the force is to the left, you know that the right side must have stronger magnetic field. Stronger magnetic field you draw by using more magnetic field lines, alright? So you can pull from here, draw like this, and then some more, and then some more. Just draw more lines, okay, on the right side. And then on the left side, you can draw as long as you can draw um, less than the lines on the right side, that would be correct. So if like this, you already get one mark for the direction of the force and then the pattern is another mark. And then don't forget to draw the direction of the magnetic field. Direction of the resultant magnetic field, you follow the direction of the magneto magnet. So it means that from north to south. So draw like that. Make sure you draw to uh, one direction only. Don't contradict. So with this, you can get three marks. Okay, So one for the pattern pattern okay number two for the arrow direction for the magnetic field okay and then uh, tick number three the third marks is for third mark is for the direction of the force okay okay if let's say you have problem to make sure that your three fingers are always 90 degree one method will be to use like this 
you imagine you have a pen coming out from your palm that represent current okay because it is actually easier to make sure that your thumb and this uh, fingers are in 90 degree okay so it means that the whole thing here is pointing following the magnetic magnetic um, flux uh, magnetic field direction from north to south all right like this uh. north south so it means that your hand will be like this north south can be like this can be like this okay and then you look at the direction of the current so current will be from positive to the negative terminal like that okay follow so it means that the current now is going in so current going in if you do like this uh, this is wrong so current going in will be like this okay so you see that your thumb is pointing to the left so the direction of the force is to the left so it means that this conductor will be moving to the left if you want to use the three fingers just now also can all right so it depends it's up to you which one is easier for you all right so now current going in north south like that north south current going in so I need to change like that same thing your thumb pointing to the left all right so then uh, when you want to draw the resultant magnetic field okay look at this uh, wait, you need to draw the magnet first. So, north, south, just follow. And then here is current going in. What symbol? The symbol should be X, uh, current going in. And then the force is to the left. Don't forget, here will be stronger magnetic field. So, you draw more lines, uh, just like just now. It is quite easy, right? <clears throat> and when you draw the magnetic field lines, make sure they are not intercept, uh. Okay, jangan ada persilangan lah. Okay, and then here will be less. For me, I love to draw two. Okay, so then don't forget the arrow. Oh, oops, not like that. It should be from north to south, right? North, south, like that. Okay, so here will be mark number one pattern. Mark number two is the direction. And then mark number three will be for the force acting. Okay, the last question. So again, label the direction of current. So this is positive, right? Okay, so this wire, uh, this conductor, normally we use copper conductor. Uh, they are not insulated. So it means that the current can go here and then go to the bridge, right? Like this. And then going back to the negative terminal. So we focus on the bridge conductor. Now current going out. So if let's say you want to draw... Uh, the resultant magnetic field uh, or the catapult field so current going out means what symbol we use current out is dot okay current out is dot now current going out so use your um, left hand Fleming's rule so we know that current going out north south so the direction will be to the to the right okay so the force will be like that okay uh, and then if let's say you want to draw the the resultant magnetic field so the force to the right so means that here will be stronger on the left is stronger okay you can draw more magnetic field lines and then here you can draw two okay then the direction will be north south okay like that Okay. and uh, from the theory just now uh, okay let me draw here so see uh, the direction of the magnetic field for the real magnet okay real magnet will be going north south north south will be like this we draw it parallel and uh, the distance is nearly the same because the magnetic field lines, the magnetic uh, flux, the strength of the magnetic field here are um, uniform. And then the direction is north-south like that. Okay, then we draw the current. So current going out, so means we use symbol dot like that. Okay, now the direction of the uh, magnetic field on the current carrying conductor here you use your right hand grip rule 
right so current going out means your thumb out okay so you see you when you grip like this right so this is uh, anti-clockwise so you draw circular magnetic field lines okay circular don't forget make sure they are not intercept and then the direction just now is anti-clockwise do like this here okay like this right so here will be up now and if you focus see the direction of the magnetic field formed by the conductor that carry current and the real magnet on the left side they have same direction that is why here here is stronger okay because they combine okay then if you look at the right side see so the magnetic field formed by the conductor that carry current and the magnetic field direction of the magnetomagnet they are opposite so it means that they are cancelling each other so that is why here it become weaker okay so that is why the conductor move to the right Remember, we are going to determine which direction that the which copper wire moves, either to the left or to the right. Let's start the experiment. Then, wait. The current actually falls from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. The current falls from the bridge towards here. Uh, where is the bridge? The bridge is the copper bridge is here, oh, in the okay. middle of the magneto magnet. All right. So wait, wait. Uh, let me see the magnet. Here is north and here is south. Oh, okay. It must be opposite. Yes. For all right. One, two, three. The bridge okay. actually moved to the left side. Oh, it's, 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 it's. to the left side. Uh, from my side will be to the right yeah. side. Can you show it one more time? Okay. You need to make sure the bridge conductor is symmetry yeah, in yes. between one, the two minutes. One, two, three. All right. Okay, then explain. We can actually determine where the, the bridge copper wire move by using the left hand flaming rule. But like I said, the current flow from here, meaning the from current, where? The current, this one is current. This one is to determine the south, which is this one is to determine the pole, which is always to the south, and this one is the force, meaning either to the left or to the right. To the pole, Kejap. Uh, the your your pointer is to determine. This one is to determine the the thing that moves to the left or to the, the direction of the force. Ah, uh, kejap, your pointer. What is your pointer? Your pointer represent? Represent south. Uh, yes. The direction of the magnetic the field pole. must be from north to, to south. south. Okay. <laughs> then the current, it's like okay. I said, the current towards me. Right. The current towards me. And this one, to, I said to the south. The south is above. So like that. Alright. Meaning the thing will go to the left. Right. The bridge conductor will, will move, move to, the left. to your left. But to my right. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Good. Look at this question. So what happened to the coil? Now the coil is in between two magnetomagnet and current flowing in the coil. As a result, the left side of the coil will be moving up and then the right side of the coil will be moving downward. Okay, so we have two force acting in opposite direction. As the result, the coil will be rotating in this direction. This is actually clockwise direction. Why the left side of the coil is moving upward and the right side of the coil is moving downward? So this can be proved by using Fleming's left hand rule. So we do one by one. Okay, maybe focus on the left side first. So now uh, the current is going in. Okay, current going in. And then the magnetic is actually from north to south. So you do like this. Alright, so you can see that current, current going in. So north to south and your thumb is upward so it means that the direction of the force here proven it will be upward and then on the right side current going up okay and then no south again you need to make sure that no south like that right so current going up 
and you, you see your thumb is pointing downward. So the force here is downward. Now, how do we draw the magnetic field, the resultant magnetic field of these two catapult force? A way of this, so current going in means x, current going out is dot. Okay, so I already prepare like that. And uh, you know already that on the left side, the coil is moving upward. And then on the right side, coil is moving downward. So this is actually creating the turning force. Huh? Alright, now... So we know that this side must be stronger magnetic field lines, more, more magnetic field lines, and here also have more magnetic field lines. So to draw it, you just see this is the conductor. Just draw, draw just draw slightly above, do like that. Okay, and then with that you can draw more, draw curve like this. Okay, I think that is enough. Then here. Okay, then can see already, so here have more lines, and then this side also have more lines. Okay, that will push this conductor downward, push this conductor upward. And then just draw maybe one more here, here, okay, uh, that is enough. So, then finally, don't forget to draw the direction of the magnetic field from north to south pole. Like that. Okay, so here you can get mark for your force and then mark, mark for your pattern, and then mark for your direction. In our daily life, we use a lot of force acting on current carrying conductor as the application. Example, huh? are you familiar with this? This is a dry blender. Okay, so let's say nak kisah kacang, huh? uh, you can use this. Alright, so do you see the turning... Uh, inside so that is actually turned by motor okay so this part uh, okay this part so it is actually joined here attached here so when this rotate the dry mixer rotate okay so the rotation here is actually made by the motor so inside here okay there will be coil and also magnet and then when current flow through the coil so two force will be acting Okay, so the catapult force in opposite direction which make the, the motor turn. Okay, right. So anything that turn, example, fan, uh, mixer, um, some more is the bread maker. Okay, like this. So I have a bread maker here. If you watch Dina's uh, video last night, so the 24 hours um, in Mandarin, uh, in Chinese, uh, talking in Chinese, uh, you can see they are using mix uh, the the bread maker to make roti so this part okay so the one that mix mix the you can see uh, inside turning right so this is actually turned by the motor right so here so do you see it, it means that uh, in our daily life we use a lot of this as the application so now uh, right. this diagram shows a dc motor consists of permanent magnet Okay, north-south permanent magnet and then coil and then the end of the coil is connected to this. So this is known as commutator. Okay, left side of the commutator and then right side of the commutator. Another name for the commutator is split ring. Chin-chin terbelah dua. Split ring. Okay, and then so the left side of the commutator is connected to this side of the coil. And then the right side is connected to the right side of the coil. So when the coil turn, it will actually carry the commutator with it. And then in between here, the commutator is not in contact. So it means that here is not in contact. Eh? And then so we have carbon brush and also spring to make sure that the um, commutator and the carbon brush is always in contact when it is when the coil is in horizontal position like this. Okay, so current flow from here, positive terminal. Okay, and then go through the spring and then to the carbon brush and to the commutator and it will go through the coil and then go back to the right side. Okay, and go to back to the negative terminal. So the same principle where the between the two magnet, there will be magnetic 
flux like this and then when the current here going in okay x and then going out dot so this is the uh, magnetic field still remember you need to use your left your right hand um, grip ruler and in the combination here is what i explained just now will produce the catapult field okay so the commutator actually reverse the direction of current in the coil every half rotation so that the coil continues to turn in the same direction and then the carbon brush is used to contact with commutator so that current from the battery enters the coil and the spring here okay push the brush so that it will always contact with the commutator the working principle of direct current motor okay uh, for the magnet of the motor will always fix like this okay north for this case north is on the left side south is on the right side Okay, so it means that the position of the magnet will still be the same, but the coil will rotate in one direction. So in this case, the coil is rotating in anti-clockwise direction. So you can see that the uh, coil on the right side is acted up by the force and then coil on the left side is moving downward. So in this case, they are rotating in anti-clockwise direction. Alright, so as you know, this is the commutator. Another name is the split ring. So when current flow, so here it flow from positive terminal, okay, through the spring, through the carbon brush, through the commutator and go to the coil. And as a result, the coil will be moving in anti-clockwise. And when the coil rotate, okay, when the coil rotate, so at this position so means that already now is horizontal this one is horizontal okay when it rotate 90 degree okay this is the position where the coil another name is the armature the coil or the armature now is in vertical position now please uh, look at the label we have a b c d now c d is on top a b is downward here so you see since i told you just now that the commutator will move together with the coil so you see this side of commutator left side is connected to a b and then the right side of the commutator is connected to c d so you see that so c d now look at the position of the uh, commutator Alright, so in this case, since this is a split ring, the commutator at this part is not in contact with the carbon brush. So in this case, is there any current flowing? Although outside is still switched on, current flow like this, but then here is not connected. So it means that there will be no current flowing in the coil. But due to inertia, okay, the uh, coil will still rotate. You see, when there is no current flowing, in the coil so there will be no catapult force because this side of the current carrying conductor there is no magnetic field so in this case only the magnetic field uh, formed by the real magnet exists so since there is no magnetic field of the current carrying conductor here so there is no catapult force but the coil will still rotate continue in anti-clockwise direction due to the inertia of the coil. Okay, next. Uh, the coil is already in horizontal position where you see now CD is on the left side, AB is on the right side. Okay, so the in this case, you see, the commutator now is connected to the carbon brush. Okay, but the position of CD is on the left side and then AB is on the right side. Okay, so when current, current still flowing in the same direction, but now the left side is going through CD and then the right side is going from B to A. Okay, go back to the negative terminal. Hence, the force exerted will still be in the same direction. So left side of the coil downward, right side of the coil upward. So it's still rotating in anti-clockwise direction 
Okay, so in this case, the commutator reverse, reverses the direction of current in coil okay, to ensure that the force on coil turn the coil in one direction only. So that is why the coil is still rotating in anti-clockwise direction. What does it mean by commutator reverse the direction of current in coil? Now, you see here, current okay, flowing from D to C. Okay, but the previous one, current on the left side, eh, flowing from A to B. Okay, so obvious that the direction of current is reversed by the commutator. And after horizontal, continue rotate, now the position of the coil or the armature is in vertical position. Again, you see, the commutator is, is moved together with the coil just now. And in this case, the current cannot flow because the circuit is not complete. Okay, so in this case, uh, there is no turning force but due to the uh, inertia, the coil will still rotate. Okay, what is the factors that affect the speed of rotation of the motor? Okay, imagine your blender just now. If let's say you want your blender to rotate faster, what should you, you do? So normally we increase the 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 current so okay so the first one is the current flowing in the coil so the greater the current the greater the speed of rotation and then the strength of the magnet also we can increase okay we increase the strength of the magnet means use stronger magnet or use more magnet hence the uh, force produced will be greater okay hence the speed of rotation of the motor will be stronger and then as for the coil we can also increase the number of turns in the coil increase the number of turns in the coil will increase the uh, force produced okay so means that more uh, the, the the motor will move at high speed the area of coil also can be increased okay so these are the four factors that will increase the speed of the rotation of the motor Okay, let us do some exercise. On this diagram, sketch the magnetic field between the two magneto magnet. So we have north, south. Okay, so here uh, you need to draw parallel magnetic field lines and make sure the, the distance are the same and the direction must be from yeah, north to south like that. Okay, and then in this diagram, okay, you need to draw the magnetic field produced by wire carrying current uh, into the paper. So, X here is the symbol of current going into the paper. So, the pattern will be in circular, but the direction, please use your right hand grip rule. So, your thumb going inward, so your four fingers will be follow the direction of the magnetic field, so which is in clockwise direction, like that. Okay, so when you draw the magnetic flux, make sure the lines are not intercept. Okay, next question. On this diagram, sketch the magnetic field produced by wire carrying current into the paper, okay, which is in between two magnetos magnet. Hence, draw the direction of force acting on the wire. Okay, so this actually asking you to draw the resultant magnetic field which means the result, uh, the catapult field. So remember, use your left hand Fleming's rule, okay, to determine the direction of the force. And then, from what we have learned just now, uh, you can draw the uh, magnetic field lines, okay. So don't forget. So the line should not intercept. And then the direction of the magnetic field should be from north to south. Actually, one arrow is enough. No need to draw another arrow. Now the question, what is the name of the field that you draw? So this is the catapult field. And then state two factors that affect the force acting on the wire. So it means that the, the, the wire here okay, is acted by the force. And you want to, in, if let's say you want to increase the force, what should you do? Okay, so focus on the conductor and focus on the magnet. Okay, if you want the force to be bigger, so you can increase the magnitude of current. Or you can also increase the strength of the permanent magnet, which is the magnetor magnet. Okay, another answer that can be accepted will be use more magnet. Okay, more exercise. So here we have 
10 objective question. I want to remind you all. So please time up yourself. Try the question. Okay, pause my video. Try the question for 1.5 minutes. Then you can continue uh, watching how we solve the problem. Okay, so question number one. So diagram below shows a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. So X wire connected to the dry cell. So what is the direction of the force act on the conductor? Okay, so look at the magnet, north-south. So use your left hand Fleming's rule. Okay, so first current will be from Y X. So current going in. And then the magnet north-south. Alright, so the direction is your thumb okay, will be pointing downward. So the answer is A. X, Y in diagram below are end of the coil in which electric current flow. So X here dot means current out. X means current in. Okay, so what is the direction of the force act on X and Y? Again, use your left hand Fleming's rule. So what is your answer? X is going. Yes, answer is C. Where X will be going downward. Okay, and then Y will be going upward. Okay, number three. So the split ring, or another name is commutator, in a direct current motor functions to, uh, so search for this word, reverse, reverse current in coil every half turn so that the coil can rotate in the same direction. Okay, remember, reverse current in coil every half turn so that the coil can rotate in one direction. If the motor, the coil rotate in anti-clockwise, so means that all the time the coil will be rotating in clockwise direction. If let's say in anti-clockwise, means that all the time will be in anti-clockwise direction. Number four, which of the following factors does not affect the speed of rotation of electric motor? Okay, so number one, increase current. Uh, this one will definitely infect, infect, infect. increase current so the force will be greater so speed will be more stronger magnet also the same thing and then reverse the polarity of the magnet okay increase the number of turns increase the number of turns yes but reverse polarity of the magnet will not change the speed of rotation but when you reverse the polarity of the magnet the, the coil will turn in opposite direction, but the speed will still be the same. Number five, diagram below shows the direction of motion of copper wire when current flows through it. Okay, look at this. Huh? So current in here, and then means that current going in. Okay, copper wire, and then north, south. So use your left hand spamming rule. And then the question now, in which direction will copper wire move when current is reverse? So you need to know what is the direction of the copper wire before the current is reversed first. Okay, so use your Fleming's left hand rule. So current now is going in. Okay, so your center finger should be inward, north south. All right, so the direction of the copper wire should be to the right, to the right. But when the current is reversed, so the direction of the copper wire should be to the left. So the answer is yes, A, to the left. Number six, diagram below shows an electric bell circuit. So which of the following does not affect the loudness of sound of the bell when switch is closed? Uh, this is from um, 3.1. So what is the answer? Reverse the polarity of the dry cell, increase the number of dry cell, increase the number of turns. So the answer should be reverse the polarity. So reverse the polarity will not affect the loudness of the sound produced by the electric bell. Okay, so the answer is E. 
Question number 7. So diagram below shows a current carrying wire between pole of a pair of permanent magnet. So what is the direction of the magnetic force on the wire? Okay, what is the answer? Current going up, north-south. The answer is? Yes, A, going up. Okay, this is an interesting question. Diagram shows a bare wire, PQ, placed on two metal rods held at an angle with horizontal. So we have two metal rods, okay, and then we have bare wire PQ so means that the wire is not insulated and then this is uh, there is an angle here so the question which diagram okay A, B, C, D uh, shows the correct connection of the battery and the direction of the magnetic field B to prevent PQ from sliding down so the direction of magnetic field B is down like this is downward uh, downward upward uh, following the the uh, the metal rod, so if let's say the direction of magnetic field is downward like this, so it means that here is north, and then here is south. Okay, so we focus. Maybe we look at B first. Okay, so the question said, which diagram shows the correct connection? Okay, of battery and direction of magnetic field B to, uh, this is the important thing, to prevent PQ from sliding downward. To prevent PQ from sliding downward, okay, so you must exert another force pulling, uh, pushing it upward. So it means that you need to uh, connect uh, the two metal rod to a battery, okay, so that the catapult force will be in this direction this direction so which of this diagram okay will 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 create a uh, force upward direction okay maybe we look at b first so this is current so means that current now is going that direction okay use your left hand Fleming's rule okay current that direction so and then the, the the magnetic field is going downward. Alright, so the force will be, uh, the force will be this direction, downward direction. So this cannot be the answer. Because if let's say the force is at this direction, the PQ will keep on sliding downward. So we need to find um, the force acting on PQ is in this direction. Okay, which one? Yes, the answer is A. Alright, so the answer is A. So, you try, uh, try use your left hand Fleming's rule. Okay. What about C? Which direction will the conductor move? Okay, so the magnetic is upward and then current is from P to Q. So, here also moving like this. The force is like this, so same as B. So C cannot become the answer. Of course, B just now is not the answer. Now what about D? Okay, so current flowing like this. Okay, and then the magnetic is going to that direction. So which direction will this conductor move? It will actually move upward. Okay, the force is upward. So this one is... Uh, is does does not affect uh, the 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 force. So this one is also not the answer. Question number nine: The motion of a conductor carrying current in a magnetic field can be determined by. Okay, which one? Yes, it should be Fleming's left hand rule. Okay. Uh, be careful with the spelling. Okay. So Fleming left hand rule. So this is the spelling. Uh, so make sure you spell it correctly. Okay. Last question number ten. Okay. Um. So diagram shows a coil W X Y Z carrying current, and then what is the direction of the magnetic force, the catapult force, uh, acting on side W X and Y Z in the coil? Okay, as for this question, I will let you write your answer in the comment. Okay, please comment. Please write your answer in the comment below. Alright, so 
uh, I think that will be the end of uh, 3.2. So make sure you know how to use Fleming's left-hand rule to determine the direction of the catapult force. Make sure you know how to draw uh, the pattern of the magnetic, uh, the resultant magnetic field or the catapult field. And then make sure you know also the application of the force acting on current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. Alright, so uh, hopefully you can understand this lesson. Okay, so um, please help to like, subscribe and comment and please share with your friend. Okay, so that more uh, people, more students will benefit from this uh, My Fun Physics World post. Alright, so till we meet again, so all the best. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.